The history of construction technology, ancient times. The history of construction evolves with different cultures and trends in time. What ancient civilizations were able to accomplish was highly dependent on the durability of materials used, the height and span of the project, and the energy available to the construction process. The Neolithic Era, or Stone Age, was a time period from roughly 9000 BC to 5000 BC, named because it was the last period of age before woodworking began. The tools available were made from natural materials including bone, antler, hide, stone, grasses, and animal fibers. In addition to living in caves and rock shelters, the first buildings were simple shelters like tents or huts. Later, the use of wood, bronze, iron, and steel improved tools and construction technology across many societies. Egypt. Adobe, or sun-baked mud brick, construction was used for building in houses in ancient times and is still commonly used in rural Egypt. The hot, dry climate was ideal for mud brick, which tends to wash away in the rain. Extensive storehouses with mud brick vaults still survive, all constructed with sloping courses to avoid the need for form work. The grandest buildings, the pyramids, were constructed in stone, often from massive masonry blocks. The techniques used to move these massive blocks have been subject to extensive debates. Some historians suggest that they may not have been cut stone, but fabricated from concrete. The pyramids are chiefly impressive for their enormous size and the staggering manpower involved in their construction. The largest is the Great Pyramid of Giza, which remained the tallest structure in the world for 3,800 years. Although the ancient Egyptians were credited with inventing the ramp, lever, lathe, oven, ship, paper, irrigation, and irrigation system, they achieved extraordinary feats of engineering with relatively primitive technology. As far as we know, they did not use pulleys designed for lifting. They transported massive stones over great distances using rollers, ropes, and sledges hauled by large numbers of workers. Greece. Across the Mediterranean Sea, the ancient Greeks, like the Egyptians, tended to build most of their common buildings out of mud brick, leaving no record of them behind. However, many structures do survive some of which are in very good state of repair or have been re-erected in the modern era. The most dramatic are the Greek temples dedicated to the numerous gods of legend. The Greeks made many advances in technology, including plumbing, the spiral staircase, central heating, urban planning, the water wheel, the crane, and more. Rome. In striking contrast to previous cultures, an enormous amount is known about Roman building construction. A very large amount survives, including complete intact buildings like the Colosseum and very well-preserved ruins at Pompeii. The great Roman development in building materials was the use of mortar called Roman cement. Previous cultures had used mortars, but by adding volcanic ash, Roman cement would harden underwater. This provided them with a strong material for bulk walling. They used brick or stone to build the outer skins of the walls and then filled the cavity with massive amounts of concrete. The invention of the water wheel, sawmill, and arch are credited to the Romans. They also began using glass for architectural purposes and were the first with paved roads. China. China is a cultural hearth area of Eastern Asia. Many Far East building methods and styles evolved from China. A famous example of Chinese construction is the Great Wall of China, built between the 7th and 2nd centuries BC. The Great Wall was built with rammed earth, stones, and wood, and later brick and tiles with lime mortar. Wooden gates were constructed to block passageways. The Chinese followed a simple set of rules for thousands of years, so many of the surviving buildings were built with the methods and materials still used in the 11th century. 